so never looking at a guy who doesn't look like him. What's so cool about him? He's just your opposite. Tom, you are my dearest friend, but even I can see that you skipped your style classes. Hey! I'm cool. You? you cool? Funny. Oh, I really would do anything to see him just once. <sighs> Had a good sleep, dear. <laughs> Up, Dad? No, oh, no, everything's fine, darling. Here, Dad, I poured your granola for you. Here, Dad, take this apple. I don't want it. I'm making your favorite for dinner tonight crunchy garden salad followed by chewy toffee pudding. There's no need for everyone to laugh at me. Nobody's laughing at you, darling. Oh, remember the last time Dad thought everybody was laughing at him? It was because he had a toothache. Huh? <laughs> 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 I don't have a toothache, and that's final. <laughs> He's afraid of the dentist. He's afraid of the dentist. Now, dear, I hear real world dentists are absolute kittens. I'm not going to the dentist. I don't need it. Look. <gasps> Out in the hallway. Oh, my poor Tommykins. Did I forget to teach you how to tie your shoelaces? Not that, Mom. The neighbors are going to think we have a wild animal in the house. Oh, don't be silly, dear. Gregor has been house trained for years. Mom, you have to do something about his tooth. Shh. Don't say that word. He might hear you. We have to call them carrots. Carrots? <laughs> Mom, that's ridiculous. Besides, it's fairy union rules. Anything to do with teeth, oh, uh, carrots, is the carrot fairy's field. <laughs> tiddledy dum, tiddledy dee. Fix a big tooth right as can be. See, Mildred, my cousin, is in her final year at the Tooth Fairy Academy, but I haven't spoken to her in absolutely ages. I was considering taking my career in that direction, but... <sighs> All right, I see. I'm gonna take him to the dentist. I'm not sure that's such a good idea with the experiences he's had as a child. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. It'll be fine. I'll persuade him it's for a nice facial to take his mind off his tooth. Outside, Dad. Now you can come in. Do you think a facial will do me any good? <sighs> it's great. It's really relaxing. You'll totally forget your tooth. Um, carrot. My carrot. <laughs> uh, think of the most relaxing thing you've ever done. <sighs> the time I had a bath in the swamp. <laughs> That's it. Right. I'll pick you up in an hour. Come in, come in. 
Now, why don't you just take a seat while I put on some nice, relaxing music? Where do you keep the swamp? Uh, you need to go to the bathroom? Oh, no, no. Uh, just my son said it would be relaxing. Yes, yes. Very relaxing. Now, you just lie back and relax. <laughs> fizzledy fip, fizzledy foo, in need of a messenger, what shall I do? <laughs> ah! Reuben, can you tell my cousin Mildred that Gregor has tooth trouble and to get here as soon as she can? <sighs> Looks like someone needs a new hairstyle. Today is training day, cut and color free. Eh, my hair's cool. Your hair? Cool. <laughs> uh, did you say free? Wonderful, Reuben. I'll put the kettle on. All right. Now close your eyes and open your mouth. Oh, my. What big teeth you have. <laughs> Relax. I'm putting in a retractor. <laughs> Now, now, let's not be silly or you might freeze your whole mouth. <laughs> you really shouldn't have done that. Calm down. <laughs> Now, really, there's no need for you to be so upset. Now, now, that's not very clever. <laughs> We're just locked in. <laughs> it's not worth getting worked up about. There, there. How about a nice lollipop? Relax. It won't hurt you. Right. Uh, a lollipop's not very good for teeth. Uh, a crunchy apple! No, apple's acidic, bad for teeth, too. Uh, oh, a, a carrot! <laughs> right, carrot bad. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What are you doing? Show up dressed as the Tooth Fairy now, could I? Tooth Fairies aren't supposed to be out and about during daylight hours. 
But the Easter Bunny is... <laughs> Nobody will notice. Easter's only eight months away. Besides, it makes my bum look good. I would like to... Wake up! Wake up! Doctor, you've got to do something. I still don't think my teeth are white enough. She won't mind. She's really sweet. No. I go on. Oh, oh, oh! You're from Uzbekistan. How? Uh. Oh. <clears throat> Do you think you might consider not killing me? I got. You grab the ogre, uh, I mean your husband, and I'll grab the tooth. It won't hurt him, will it? Of course not. The tooth will be out in one shake of a bunny's tail. <laughs> uh, Mildred? Hmm? My kids really give me a hard time for flying in the real world. Maybe we should walk? Walk? <laughs> sure. I totally forgot. <laughs> Oh dear. Help! <laughs> Save me! Huh? Ah! Uh, it's a miracle! You're one of those tortoise hero guys sent to save me! Tortoise? What? No! about you. Well, sure. Everyone's sister's crazy about me. What are you doing here? I need to improve my smile. It's not white enough. See? <laughs> Soccer players have to smile a lot? Oh, yeah, sure. All the time. But what are you doing under the table? Well, duh. I'm hiding from a crazy guy. A crazy guy? 
Oh, yeah, the one in the consulting room. I'm the last patient who survived. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! My dad was here! Definitely a goner, I'd say. I'm gonna go out there. No! Huh? Don't go! Don't leave me alone! You could be his next victim! Maybe I better think about this again. Of course, oh, I'd take care of him myself, but my hands are insured for one million, and my feet for four million, and the dimple on my chin is insured for ten. What? What does this crazy psycho guy look like? Oh, about ten feet tall. Uzbekistani, I reckon. Can't understand a word he's saying, and he's unbelievably ugly. He almost looks like an ogre. An ogre? Oh, no! You're gonna get yourself killed? What about me? Dad! What have you done to the dentist? Huh? Tom, you're here. Dad! Where's the ogre? Dear Goldie, I hope you never forget me. Where's the tooth? I think that might be my fault. Good work, kid. Uh, they make you wear your hair like that in school? My quota this month now, thanks to you. Here you go. Whoa! Ogre tooth is worth big bucks these days. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Fizzle dee dum, fizzle dee doo. Everything's back to normal for you. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> it's safe to come out now, Dean. They've all gone. Oh, you're so brave! You saved my life! Of course, I would have saved my life, but I couldn't with my insured hands and all. Sure, I know that. Ah, uh, you wouldn't tell anybody about the under the table hiding thing, would you? Yeah, it would really give the wrong impression. <laughs> hey, is this your note? <laughs> uh, maybe I could take your sister out on a date. <laughs> Sign her a few autographs. Sure. And maybe there's one other little thing you could do. <laughs> wow, that really is a courageous new look you've gone for. Yeah. You know, I met this amazing kid recently, and he was so incredibly cool, I had to look just like him. <laughs> so here's to you, Dom. <gasps> Ha <laughs> ha
Cindy? Sorry about this, but you'll have to get used to all these droves of adoring fans all the time. <laughs> they, uh, well, they must not have seen me. Cindy needs to have a chaperone, so I guess I'll be coming along too. Every ferocious job. Uh -huh. No! <laughs> <laughs> 